2003 was the year my life completely shattered. I was 13 years old. It was my first year of high school. I was being badly bullied by a group of girls who I had barely known and I had let a male teacher know my concerns. The group of girls that were bullying me um, had approached me during lunch period just before PE class and I got really upset and I said I don't want to I don't want to play PE I'm feeling really unwell I, I really want to go home and the teacher sort of said no there's something else going on what's wrong you can talk to me you can trust me and he told me I could sit out and that he would sit with me and so that's how our interaction started and he told me it was okay to not not do the work. You can send me the work to my email. And then he would message me emails and talk to me online and he would say, you know, how was your day? And it just progressed over time and he became a friend. He became someone that I felt I could talk to and no, he was grooming me. He was a pedophile. He was doing what most predators do, which is target vulnerable young women or young girls, young boys, and they're going through something and they're alone and he's offering a life raft. And of course, you're going to take that life raft because this person's making you feel safe. Only they're not, their intentions are not good. They're not innocent. I still get lost of words when I speak about it, um, it still affects me. A lot of what had happened to me when I was younger manifested onto the rest of my life and even though some of the outcomes were good, I had to go through so many obstacles of pain and suffering. After I left school for so long, I felt I needed to hide what had happened to me and desperately tried to forget the girl who was known as the pedophile girl because I was ashamed and my self-worth was so low. I was only able to be protected for so long before falling prey to another person who only wanted to harm me. He would have outbursts of anger and he would hold my arm and restrain me and, and then he'd be apologetic and he said that, you know, he didn't mean to do that, that he was just angry and upset and that he'd never hurt me. And then he'd buy me gifts and flowers and, and that he said he'd never do it again. But then not that long after, he would do it again. And then over time, he became more violent. I was in that relationship for two and a half years. Because of what had happened to me, I allowed him to treat me that way because I didn't feel like I deserved any better. My experiences as horrible and as, as tormenting as it had been, it has allowed me to be more open, more loving, more kind, more compassionate, and be there for others. It's given me more hope because I know that you can come out of a dark place and find light again. And you just have to keep pushing through to get to that little speck of light because the more closer you get, the more the light will shine and open up. And at that end of that tunnel, there are people there that want to help you and want to support you and get you through that hard time. You just haven't met them yet. If things didn't play out the way they did, or if I hadn't experienced this, would I be as compassionate as I am now? Would I have chosen a degree within the community? Would I have chosen a completely different path to follow? I feel that even though what had happened to me was one of the most worstest things that I could ever wish on anyone, it guided me to who I have become today. I am passionate and driven and I work hard for social change. I'm just me, I'm Audrey. Yes, I want to help others, but I have to help myself before I can help others and by being myself is how I can help myself.